All right, welcome to the um, difference in means for two groups video. Um, hopefully you're able to get this university data and we're going to go to obviously the difference in means for two groups tab to do this. Um, and I've set up two different ones to just talk about different types of tests we can do. We'll go through one by one here. It should get quicker as we kind of go. So the first one is the most difficult. So test if there is a difference in the average undergraduate enrollment between public and private not-for-profit colleges. So we have our two groups. The first group is public. The second group is private, not for profit. Um, and then our numeric thing we're comparing is average undergraduate enrollment. So what we need is, uh, for these two groups, I need a separate column um, for each. So I kind of generally go ahead and start by, by doing that, like indicating what I need. So I need public enrollment. And then I need um, private, not for I'm going to spell this wrong, profit, enroll, enrollment. So those are the two columns that I need to run this test. And if we go to our clean data, we first need to figure out where those things are. And they're not split up between public and private across the, uh, across the row here. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work here. So first thing I need to figure out is where, like, it tells me the type of the institution. And this one's pretty easy. It's in column D. So I might go ahead and, like, highlight this just to, like, Okay, my eyes are going to go here, and then we need to find enrollment. So I'll click up here, and then I'll do um, Control or Command F, and I'll type in, uh, yeah, enroll. And they'll go over, and it looks like um, the enrollment total. So yeah, that's what we want. All right, and I can't just go and paste this over, because I need this split between public and private. And there are a lot of ways we could do this. We could do it with sorting. We could be it with filtering. I'm going to show the, the filters, because I think they're easiest. So if you're on this uh, home tab, I would go ahead over here and, and click on um, sort and filter and then filter. Or if you like the keyboard shortcuts, control or command shift L. Oops, control Z. Make sure you're not selected on the whole column. So control or command shift L. You should see all of these pop up. All right, and so the first thing we want to do is like, I only want to look at, let's see, it looks like I think I put public first. So I'll go to clean data. If you click on this little drop down, it shows me the two types, so I only want it to show me the public, so I'll do that. I'll do okay. And now, notice how these turns blue. It means like, okay, there's some things that are hidden. We're only looking at public. So now what I can do is, I can go and select this. It's going to take a little bit longer than I, I really want, but um, I'm going to select all this. I don't want to select uh, the whole column because I already have it. Actually, let's do it. I think it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to select this whole column. I'm going to do um, copy it, control or command C. And then I'm going to paste it right here, so paste. And then we need to rename this just so we know. So this is actually public enrollment. And if you didn't want to do that again, you could have gone um, here and like done control or command shift down each time, but it stops at every blank and it's a large data set, so I'll take it for a long time. So the next thing we need is just the private not-for-profit. So I'll go over here and I'll do private not-for-profit and uncheck public. And that's only showing us those. So again, I'm going to copy the whole column. And I'll go over to difference in means. Um, I'm going to cheat, so I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to copy this and paste it so I don't have to um, say it again. I don't have to rename it again, stuff like that. And now you don't have to do this, but I'm going to. So I'm going to delete the thing between them and then um, unhighlight just so it's not sort of odd and confusing. Okay, so I fit these two, and now we might have to get rid of the blank. And so a nice thing about the t-test that won't be true later on is that we actually don't care. Like, it's going to read these and deal with these blanks um, however we like. It depends on how we select the data, but I'll show you kind of the easiest way. You could um, filter these to get all the blanks. The ordering of them doesn't matter based upon the test we're going to do. So it's completely up to you. I'm going to go kind of the easiest way here because uh, I think that's what you want. So we'll do data analysis, and then um, towards, so these are all alphabetical, we'll go towards the bottom, and then we technically have four different types of tests we could do here. Um, so the most strict is the Z-test. I almost never do this one because it's assuming um, you know the population variances, which I think is crazy. Um, and then uh, T-test assuming equal variances, T-test assuming um, unequal variances. So this is where we're going to be in terms of, okay, we have two samples. Right, public and private, and then what do we want to assume? Do I want to assume that public colleges are the same as private not-for-profit? 
Probably not, so I don't want to do that. So I'm going to select the t-test sample assuming unequal variances, because uh, that makes the most sense. We'll do okay. And then this is probably blank for you all. We need to tell it like where our variables are. And so the nice thing about this is you can click on this and then just select the column that the first variable, so our public enrollment, and then variable two range. We'll select the column, hit enter. And then the last thing is uh, make sure you have the labels checked. And again, um, I think standard is to do a new worksheet. I want to keep this concise. You can do it if you want. But So I'm going to do output range, and then I'm going to put it um, right here. I'll hit enter again. You don't have to do this. If you don't want, you can put it on whatever key you want. Hit OK. And then we have an output. And again, I want this to, to these to fit better so we can see the titles. I'll go across here. I'll double click. And now it fits the titles a little bit better. All right, now I'm going to come back to this here in a little bit. Let's do the second test first. So, or yeah, so the second test. So test if there is a difference in the average tuition and fees charged by a university between 2010 and 2013. So I have my, what I need. So I need average tuition, and then I need a column for 2010, 2011, and then 2013, 2014. And I kind of already know because I have the data, like it's already set up that way. Um, so I actually don't have to do nearly as much work with this one. So what I need to do is first, let's get rid of these filters. So clear filter. Um, you can keep the filters on here if you want. And then just do control or let's find tuition first. So I'll do here control or command F and we'll do tuition. Um, and now, so I have 2010, 2011, which ones do we want? 2010, 2011, 2013, 2014. So I'll go to cleaned data. So I want this one and then um, rather than keep coming back, let's see, 2013, 2014 here. Is so, so I want these two columns. So I'm going to click here and then hold Control or Command and click here. And then I'll copy. So Control or Command C. Difference in means for two groups. And then again, we'll scroll a little bit. Um, I'll put them right here. Let's give us a little bit of room to Control or Command D. Should paste them in there. Sorry, my computer's moving a little bit slow. Yep, so we have them up. And now we can do, it's actually the last type of test. So I have the same type of university here. So it's technically like a before after kind of scenario. So this is more of a matched pairs or um, what in the data analysis tool pack, what it sets it up as um, two sample means. Again, I don't know why it doesn't call it matched pairs. Um, but so of all these T tests, so a paired two sample, right? We have a reason to pair these up because they're the same university just at two different times. And so we don't have to actually do a whole lot of work here. So now we'll just do OK. Let's select our data. So again, column D is variable one range. Column E is um, variable two range. And then we'll click the labels and then our output range. Let's just go ahead and put it um, right underneath, let's say here. And I don't know how this works with blanks. So let's just hope it works. <coughs> Same number of data points. It looks like we have problems. So what we're going to have to do, and I apologize, is um, essentially get rid of the blanks. This we have to be very careful about. So we have to pair them up. Um, they always have to, like, I don't want this to ever be misaligned with this because it needs to stay in the same universe. So what we're going to do is um, we can do sort. And then I want to sort on, let's start with tuition and fees. And let's do um, smallest to largest. We'll do OK. Uh, and now let's go to the bottom. So I'll do Control or Command Shift down. Uh, and notice that essentially it means we don't have data for these um, schools that we had for 2001, 2013. So let's just delete these. So I'm going to do Control or Command Shift down. So we go all the way to the bottom. Right, and so once it selects that, you can hit um, either the Delete key. Um, again, delete, not backspace, or you can right click and then do delete. And it'll essentially say, what do you want to do with these? We can shift them left. That's perfectly fine. And again, it's moving kind of slow here. I apologize. Now we can go again. Let's go up to the top. And it looks like we have the same number. Just to be sure, we'll do sort. And then let's do 2013. Um, do largest to smallest this time just to kind of show you the difference. Again, the blanks sort of always go to the bottom, so I'll click, I'll do Control or Command Shift down. They match up. So for this test, because we're matching them up, they have to have the same number of observations, which it looks like we do now. So let's try this again. The nice thing is once we set up a test, um, it sticks with that. It like keeps it in there. So we'll do data analysis, pair two sample, um, in columns D and E, put it in H25. Okay. All right, it's gonna think for a bit here. 
Right. Now it should have our results down here. And again, if you want to fit these better, I'll just double click. Um, here. And so now, like, how do we read one of these outputs? So it's tempting to start right here and just be like, oh my goodness, like this mean is much higher for public enrollment, so it's got and it's higher than private. We're done. Well, we need to do the testing, right? It might be just because of random chance. So for this case, where I always look first, you have two options. You could compare this T statistic or test statistic versus either the one or two tailed critical value. So in this case, this test statistic is much bigger than the critical value. Uh, I always kind of start with the two tailed. And so I'll be able to reject the null and essentially prove that there's a difference between public and private enrollment then we can look up here and say, okay, public is bigger than private, and so they have higher role. We have to do the testing first. If you like the p-value approach, notice, if I get rid of this, uh, it gives you the p-value for both a one and two-tailed test. Again, I, I sort of focus here, and this is an extremely small number, right? It's 1.1529e to the negative 57. So it's essentially zero um, scientific notation-wise. So again, I could reject the null and prove there's a difference, and then I could just look at the averages. Um, in terms of our second question, so is tuition and fees essentially change? Well, again, don't start here. That's not where we want to start. We want to first look down test statistic, negative 52.57, uh, and then compare it to either of the critical values. Again, I do here. We care about the absolute value. So this 52, so I can treat as 52, is much larger absolute value-wise than the critical value. So I can reject the null and prove that there's some difference. And then we look up here and say, okay, um, in 2010, 2011, the average was 18,000. Um, in 2013, 2014, the average was uh, 20,000. So we can say um, the tuition in, in 2013, 2014 was larger. Um, again, if you like the p-value approach, this p-value is zero. So we're in essence 0% unsure or 100% confident um, that there's a difference between the two. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions.